This RTX 3090 landed on my bench completely dead. No fan spin, no power, no image. I suspected a shot. Turned out there were two. Let's walk through the repair step by step and bring this beast back to life. Welcome to GPU Solutions. My name is Fraser and in today's repair, I'll walk you through the resurrection of this dead MSI RTX 3090. It had shots on both the PCIe 12 volts and the 8 pin RAID. An uncommon and critical failure. Let's begin the diagnostics. With the cooler still attached, I checked resistance across key rails. The PCIe 12 volt line was showing a direct shot to ground. I then checked the 8 pin inputs. One of them was also shorted. That's not good. It's now time to take it apart. I removed all the screws at the back, gently separated the cooler, took off the IO shield and finally the back plate. With everything out of the way, I had access to the bare PCB. Under the microscope, I found quite a bit of dirt and corrosion on the board, probably due to poor storage or humidity. But strangely, no visible burn marks or damage. I rechecked resistance again with the board exposed. The 8-pin fuse was not open, but the rail was still showing 0 ohm shot to ground. Same thing on the PCIe side. The fuse was okay, but the line was shorted. The other 8-pin rails were completely fine, no issues at all. To trace the fault, I soldered a jumper wire to the shunt resistor on the 8-pin rail to inject voltage. I injected 1 volt at 4.5 amps and under the thermal camera, one of the MOSFETs lit up. That's a culprit. I marked it for removal. I applied flux, preheated the board at 120 degrees Celsius and using my hot air station at 420 degrees Celsius with 60% airflow, I removed the shorted MOSFET cleanly. A resistance check confirmed it. The short on the 8-pin rail was now gone. Next. I removed the fuse on the PCIe side. Unfortunately, the fuse got damaged while removing it. So, I soldered the jumper wire to the pad on where the fuse originally stood. I injected again 1 volt and 4.5 amps and under the thermal camera, one of the MOSFETs lit up. So, I marked it for removal with a marker. The process was same as like before. Preheat the board with the hot air station at 420 degrees Celsius, 60% airflow. I removed the MOSFET cleanly. I then checked the resistance again and PCIe short was now gone too. Both rails are now clear. It's now time to rebuild. I applied flux and tinned the pads of the 8-pin MOSFET, preheated the area and installed a good MOSFET from a donor PCB carefully aligned and ensured all pins were properly soldered. I also reinstalled the capacitor that got knocked off during installation and also removed the bridges that had formed during tinning. Then I installed the second donor MOSFET using the same process. Once the power stage was rebuilt, I removed the jumper wire from the PCIe fuse pad. I applied fresh flux to the damaged fuse pad, added some leaded solder and installed a new 20 amp fuse. Then I cleaned the entire area, including the MOSFET region with isopropyl alcohol 99.9% just to remove any residues. After letting the board cool down, I connected my custom power supply and booted the PCB. It pulled a steady 1.8 amps just as expected. I measured all the key voltages, 12 volts, 1.8 volt, memory, pecs and co and everything was present and stable. I installed the PCB on my test bench, powered it on and the GPU displayed an image. A very good sign. After shutting it down, I reassembled the entire GPU. Back on the test bench, I booted into Windows the GPU was detected in Device Manager and the drivers were installed successfully. I opened GPU-Z, no errors, all sensors were working fine. 
it's now time for some real tests. I ran Fermark. Temperatures were normal. Then I ran Superposition. The benchmark completed with a good solid score. And finally, I ran 3D Mark Nomad. And again, no issues at all. Everything passed. So, to sum it up, this RTX 3090 had two major short circuits. One on the 8-pin rail and one on the PCIe side. After tracing and removing the shorted MOSFET, rebuilding the power stage and replacing the fuse, the card is now fully functional and stress tested. If you found this repair helpful, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you'd like this kind of content, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also support the channel using the thanks button or by becoming a member for exclusive content. And if you got a GPU that's dead or acting weird, head over to gpusolutions.net to book your repairs. I take on challenges like this from around the world. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.